So this week um, my um, cash envelope spends a little different because I changed to going weekly, uh, going um, daily for money. It's been good and bad in a way. Uh, the kids have been sick this week, so getting to the shop was kind of a pain. But it has working worked out a lot cheaper. So I'm going to see how it goes for probably a few weeks because it seems silly to only do it one week. And decide on whether it works I did decide halfway through the week that um that I needed to go do a meat shop because meat was costing us a fortune I was buying it at the supermarket and we drive like Tasma meat is about a 40 minute drive from us so um, yeah it worked out um, better anyway and it worked out budget wise if you were to um, sort of put the money weekly to back what I was spending um so we'll see how that goes um so here is the groceries for this week so here is Sunday shop cost $39 so a dollar under what um, I was budgeting so I've got schnitzels in the wrapping um, biscuits bread formula and maple syrup so kind of a boring one but that's it for today here is Monday's grocery haul. So I got some bread, some tortillas because we're going to have um, chicken burger wrap things, bananas, uh, raisin toast, two packets of lamingtons, mandarins and sausages for tomorrow's dinner. And it also included this, but we had to start cooking dinner. So, so that's for today so it came to $51.20 so it was over budget but I got tomorrow's dinner as well so it should equal out let's hope so here is Tuesday shop so I got nappies spaghetti mince and I got four of these we only used two in a meal but they were half price so I grabbed an extra set milk M&Ms wafers and um, mandarins and that came to forty dollars and five cents so it was five cents over here is Wednesday's shop uh, so I've got frozen peas beans and corn mince to make chili con carne and three packs of shapes two packs of bars corn flakes and three milks uh, tomato diced tomatoes to, for the um, chili con carne and four loaves of bread and that came to $39.06 so here we go here's what I got today so I got three packs of hot dogs um, a silver side a meal of um, steak so we'll need all three packs I think or maybe only two and then I'll buy another one later on um, and then I've got mints Rissoles, there's two packets of rissoles that we need for one meal. And then I've got all this chicken and one more mince. I'm going to have to split this. Usually they have theirs in like one and a half kilo lots. But they had them in two and a half kilo lots. So um, it's too big for one meal and too small for um, two meals. So I'll split them up. I only need three breasts to make like chicken... Um, um, chicken fried rice and but then other meals I need five to make those Hawaiian chickens that I've made so that should last us, us most of the month um, we'll also need sausages and then we have meals where we don't really have meat or we have tuna or fish or something so that's it for this month's meat haul it cost $143.43 so I also did a couple of other shops which I didn't film because I ran, once ran just before lunch and we needed stuff for lunch. So, and it was um, bread 
I uh, know it was rolls, ham, a cheese, and that was about it. It wasn't very much, um, but I really can't remember what it was. So, um, so I missed that one. I've got to work out a system with how I film these, whether I quickly do it in the car when I get back to the car, because. Um, you know, once I'm home, I don't know what anyone else's kids are like. They just want to eat everything that's in the bags, like Joel and the bananas and mandarins. Um, and then I did another shop. Um, it was $32, and it included mints, more cereal, formula, and that was it. Because um, formula um, is $20 a tin, so that's a killer. And then I did another shop tonight, which was literally eggs, and that was four dollars thirty. So um, I think the ones were only by one or two items. I probably wouldn't film; just add them on. So I've gone pretty good this week. Our budget, if we keep tracking this way, shows that we'll have a lot more money at the end of the year, which is good. This is what we wanted, um, and hopefully over time I can tweak it and learn. To reduce it even more so hope you guys like this week um next week i'll I'd only have the weekly days i wouldn't have a meat shop so i'm hoping that meat lasts a month i've still got it all in the fridge i've got to um separate it uh, i might include that i might do a daily vlog tomorrow which i haven't done because just been staying at home Tyler has been it started to have asthma attacks when he gets cold so and it's been really cold lately here not too bad today and yesterday but um we had a couple of days there where like he would just walk outside and it would be too much for him so he'd come back in so obviously going out was not an option but then the kids are so bored and getting naughty as most kids are but that will work that out I'm hoping to get, this week's supposed to be warmer. Actually, it's supposed to rain the next two days. So next week is supposed to be warmer. So hopefully we can do some outdoor stuff. And Eric's got the flu. And so does Zoe. And she does not handle being sick. So that's been our week. So that was sort of a food and wrap up of this week. Um, so I hope you liked that, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. bye.